As the Thanksgiving holiday approaches, people may be reminding us more and more to think about what we're grateful for or thankful for in our lives. But recent scientific study has illuminated that this may not just be an important thing to touch upon every year, but instead to incorporate into our everyday lives. One study conducted by Dr. Emmons had three different groups of participants. One journaled about their complaints in life, one about neutral life events, and the last about things they were grateful for. The Gratitude Outlook group exhibited heightened well-being across the board. This practice is also beneficial for social relationships. A study conducted by Lambert et al. showed correlation between expressing gratitude for one's partner and the perceived strength of the relationship. The theory is that by expressing gratitude about the things already present in our lives, we concentrate instead on the positives and improve our general outlook of every situation. It also helps us appreciate our loved ones and lessens how many things we may take for granted. If the benefits of this are so great, how best do we exercise this muscle? According to a study by Wong, people who kept a gratitude journal reported better levels of mental health than those who did not. You can also keep track of it in different ways, such as a note board or gratitude jar, where you use little decorative pieces of paper to write down what you're grateful for every day. No matter what it is, just make sure you keep it fun and attractive so that way doing it every day doesn't feel like a chore. If you are interested in making a gratitude jar, I have a couple available for take and makes at the Stafford Branch Library in Manahawken. First come, first served. If you miss out, don't worry, it's very easy to make at home. Just take a jar of whatever you have lying around your house, clean it up, and decorate it. Use little sleeps of paper to write down what you're grateful for every day. When you're feeling down, you can read them to cheer yourself up, or you can read them for a fun family meeting. Now it may be hard to get started, so let me present you with a couple of easy little prompts that I like to use to help myself with my gratitude journaling. Think of something on your body to be grateful for. This is extremely important to do because sometimes our body image isn't so great or our bodies aren't functioning exactly in the way that we'd like. Think about a part of your body and the important tasks that they serve. For example, I would like to be grateful for my nose because it provides me with an opportunity to smell things such as a bouquet of flowers or warm and wonderful Christmas cookies. Pick three. Look around the room and pick three things in the room you're in that you're grateful for. Or if you're still at a loss, poke your head out the window and look around and pick three things out there. Even still at a loss, think of a color and then pick three things that are that color that you're grateful for. For example, for blue, I'm grateful for, let's see, blueberries and the ocean and the beautiful color of the sky. Thank the little things. Think of the little things that make your life easier, such as a can opener or a comfy sweater or those shoes that make you feel great when you're going out. Treasure others. Thank others for the little things they do, no matter how small or routine. Thank your coworker for being so organized and thank your partner for grabbing a coffee for you or thank your children for doing their chores. Last one and most important, Cherish yourself as well. Think of a small accomplishment that you did, no matter how insignificant it may seem to you. Did you get out of bed this morning? Great. Did you have a glass of water? That's wonderful. Thank yourself for the little small things that you do to improve you. I hope these were enough to get started. It just takes 30 seconds a day, so try to get into the practice of it. It can't hurt, and it maybe even can help. If you want to read more about how gratitude can impact lives, try checking out The Gratitude Diaries by Janice Kaplan, which is available at the Ocean County Library. Until then, make every day a little bit of Thanksgiving. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.